In this video I will demonstrate how to simulate uh, FSM that is being driven by a analog to digital converter which is typically how these FSMs are implemented because the analog to digital converter is actually providing new inputs to the FSM to transition between the different modes of operation. So we're going to follow the explanation that we saw in a previous video where we have a finite state machine, a deterministic one, and every time that um, an ADC will essentially have an event of sampling, it will evaluate whether a transition of mode should happen or not. Essentially what we have is now is a series interconnection of an ADC where the input to the ADC will be created by some signal and the output of the ADC will drive the finite state machine. So I already prepared that here for us and this is the model. This is essentially the finite state machine that we're going to implement. We're going to do um, use the same machine that we described in a previous video where we had um, three modes of operation A, B and C and we were coding them as 1, 2 and 3 and the inputs were either 0 or 1. So with this um, initialization file what we are going to set is the initial state of the finite state machine to be Q equal 1 or Q equal A and then 0 for the analog to digital converter states, both the memory and the timer, and the same sampling rate, which is given by almost 0 0.4, the value that we used in a previous video as well. We're gonna run this for three seconds and no more than 20 jumps and using the usual rule and tolerances choices. So we're going to run the initialization file so we get things going and that's since what we expect, see the rate for sample is about 0. Point, a little bit below 0. 0.4 seconds. So the finite state machine itself has the input that we actually have applied to the finite state machine in a previous video where we only were illustrating how to simulate a finite state machine using the hybrid equation toolbox. Now we sample that signal using the um, rate that um, which has defined of almost 0 0.4 seconds. So we're ready to run the simulation. Compilation takes place. This simulation runs and it looks like it got too close to 3 seconds. Now let's plot the results using the post processing function. And what we see here is that the input that is being created that originally was sent to the finite state machine but now is being sampled by the analog to digital converter changes from 0 to 1 at around 0 0.4 or so seconds but that information is only uh, appearing in the um, in the output of the of the analog to digital converter which drives the FSM almost around 0 0.4 seconds later which is the rate that we have here. At that very time is when the input goes from 0 to 1 and generates a transition from Q equal to 1 to Q equal to 2 since the input remains at 1 after that transition there is another transition that makes the state of the finite state machine go from 2 to 3 and then as we described for that machine in the past, in a previous video, the state Q equal 3 is an invariant for the machine and that remains there forever. And it doesn't matter uh, what kind of input is being applied in the future. So that's a simulation of an interconnection, in this case a serious interconnection of an analog to digital converter driving a finite state machine, which actually implements the finite state machine with a device that provides inputs at periodic time instance.